Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ English. Comes October and everyone talks about the Nobel Prize. Yes, it is the same time of the year in 2025 when the Nobel Prizes are announced. A moment of much excitement to see exactly which innovation, which contribution in the field of science, economics, literature or peace will make a massive contribution to the lives of everyone. It all started in 1901 when for the first time the prizes were given. The reason was the will and the desire of Alfred Nobel, a great inno innovator, scientist, who decided that his wealth, his fortune should be utilized to honor those people who, by their hard work and innovation, can make a difference to the life of humanity, practical benefit of humanity, and hence Nobel Prizes took birth. But there is a controversy about these prizes. Till today, a lot of people keep speculating. They keep believing in rumours. Regarding why is there no Nobel Prize for the field of mathematics? So that's exactly what we are going to discuss. Apart from that also, a quick look into which categories, for what contribution, have received the Nobel Prize in 2025. So today is 13th October and we are yet to see who is awarded Nobel in the field of economic sciences. Okay, and uh, talking about the Nobel Prize itself, it is a set of international award that is given every year to people, scientists, doctors, researchers, social workers, leaders who have done a great contribution, a great benefit and a remarkable sacrifice which can change the lives of people. It is not just given to individuals but also to organizations every year. To celebrate a unique contribution to humanity. Generally, the prize is given in six fields. We talk about physiology, medicine. We talk about physics, chemistry, literature, peace, economic sciences. And as I said, according to the will, according to the desire of Alfred Nobel, the pioneer of these awards, they will only be given to those who have done the greatest benefit to mankind. Today, in 2025, Across all these years, Nobel Prizes have become the symbol of not just honour, appreciation, but also excellence and greatest achievement for humankind. Talking about the Nobel Prize 2025, as the prizes have already been declared across physiology medicine, this time it was given to a set of three scientists named as Miss Mary Brunkow, Fred Ramsdell, Shimon Sagaguchi. Because they have discovered the Fox P3 genes contribution to a group of cells called TREX, the T regulatory cells. Ultimately, they have contributed in discovering peripheral immune tolerance. This could mean a great contribution to the world where people are experiencing a heavy burden of NCDs, non communicable diseases which are autoimmune in nature, including rheumatoid arthritis, lupus psoriasis, then you have type 1 diabetes. So it's a great contribution that was celebrated through the prize. Then you talk about physics. A group of scientists once again been honoured for their discovery of macroscopic quantum mechanical tunnelling. Looking at chemistry, this time it went for the discovery of a category of materials called MOF, Metal Organic Framework. A set of materials that are very thin, very porous and lightweight. And it is believed that they can have application in trying to reduce, absorb pollution, contamination from the atmosphere. It can also be utilized to clean contaminated water. So therefore, it can have a great contribution in future when it comes to climate mitigation. Now looking at literature, a writer from Hungary was given the award for his imaginative work. A visionary work, a person who usually was a main critic of the government, but today he is being contributed for his extremely imaginative visionary work. Now, talking about peace, the most controversial category this year, a Venezuelan pro democracy leader named as Maria Corina was the one who received the prize. And she received it because of her constant efforts at trying to restore democracy in war-torn Venezuela. A lot of people also said 
that it was President Trump who was, in fact, looking at the prize. He was eyeing the Nobel Peace Prize and he was disappointed probably as he did not get it. But as soon as Maria Corina Macado, the Venezuelan pro-democracy leader, won the prize, she took no time in dedicating the prize to President Trump himself. Her contribution is being celebrated for enabling her country to come out of dictatorship and to work towards democracy. Across all these categories and as today economics prize will come, the question still remains, why exactly no Nobel Prize for maths? Well, there are some very absurd rumours about it. Some people say that it was Alfred Nobel who had a bias against mathematicians. He had a personal enmity with a leading mathematician of his times and that's the reason why he never wanted people from maths background to get the prize. Some other people say that the idea of Nobel Prize was to award those achievements which made a practical contribution, practical benefit to humankind. And at that time in history, probably Alfred Nobel believed that mathematics was too theoretical. It was too abstract, too foundational to create a practical benefit for the world. And that's why he chose physics and chemistry, but not maths. Some other people believe that maybe there are some other prizes given in the category for maths. So maybe he felt there is no need for a separate piece, for a separate uh, prize of Nobel category for mathematics. So whatever be the reason, we are still speculating. Probably the most valid reason seems to be these two. That at that time, maths was too abstract. And perhaps he thought, that why to create a separate prize for maths when there are existing ones already? So today, as we look at contemporary society, there is another award associated with maths called as Abel Prize. A Bell Prize is so prestigious in the field of maths that people call it the Nobel Prize for maths. So this year in 2025, who received the Abel Prize? A prize that began in 2002 by the Norwegian Parliament to celebrate birth anniversary of Niels Henrik Abel. It is given for outstanding contributions, innovations in the field of maths. And this year, it is a mathematician from Japan named as Mr. Masaki Kashiwara, who has been given this award. Why? Because of his three achievements, quite technical. One is for the development of D modules, a very powerful tool, a method which connects differential equations with algebraic geometry to for discovering crystal basis, which will allow more easy, simple graph-based calculations in complex calculations calculations and then you have bridging or his work which connects isolated independent separate fields like algebra geometry and mathematical physics so these are the reasons for which he has been given this honorable prize and now let us quickly look at a revision question regarding nobel prize the question says which of the following statements about Nobel Prizes are true? One, the 2025 Nobel Prize in Medicine or Physiology has gone to Mary Brunkow, Fred Ramstel and Shimon Saga Gucci. Why? Because of their discovery concerning peripheral immune tolerance. Two, the 2025 Nobel Prize for Chemistry has been given to a single winner. One person has received it for his work on MOF, Metal Organic Frameworks, and three, the 2025 Nobel Peace Prize was given to Miss Maria Corina Macado of Venezuela for her efforts in promoting democracy, pro-democratic movement, and a peaceful transition in her country, Venezuela. So which of these statements do you think are valid? You can post your answer and let us know any opinion that you have about why no Nobel Prize in the field of maths? Are these rumours valid or is there any other reason here? And before I take your leave, a quick reminder about the fast track bad sale. Should you be writing your exam in 2026, then limited time is left and that's why it is the fast track bad sale. All you need to do is to use codes live on your screen because the new batch for this 2026 exam is beginning on 17th October. Very few days remaining and you do get a prize as less as 7999 only for all the GS subjects, for all optionals, heavy discount. For various CSAT 
courses for various essay writing modules and current affairs. Apart from that, if you're writing the exam in 27 or 28, still you can use the code SPLIVE and enroll for other important great discounts such as 21999 only for all GS option plus heavy discount on optional for 2027. And then comes 2028. The batch for which is closing, the admission is closing on 15th October, very few days to go now, just two more days. So you can apply for the sale and make a professional difference to your preparation, whether you are writing the exam in English or Hindi or in English. Let us know. If you want to fill up the form that's there in the description box of the video, we will get back to you and discuss about the sale in detail. Thank you so much for being with us only at Study IQIS.